Greetings. So I'm back again with another video and I wanted to talk about um, how I'm going to do a an extended detox, an extended juice fast, an extended cleansing because, um, you know, it's about to be very soon here, March 21st, actually, um, uh, spring which signifies new beginnings um, and rebirth and things like that. So, and resurrection too. So, um, I'm thinking about, no, actually I'm not thinking about, I am going to do a an extended cleansing and detox. And I'm going to, I was saying that I was probably going to start March 1st, but I might start on the 21st and do prep up until that point. Today I'm gonna decide which one would be better because um, today is Monday. This is actually Monday, February 27th, I believe. Um, and yes, 27th. And you know, today's a good day for divination, going within, being intuitive, um, just looking at the subconscious and things like that. It's moon day, okay? So, I feel like today would be a good day to make that decision and to really look into what it is I need to cleanse and purge because there's definitely a lot of things that need to be let go and released at this time. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to decide whether I'm going to start March 1st or if March 21st would be a better time um, energetically and all those good things. So that's what I'm going to do today. Um, I'm going to document it no matter how long I decide to do it. If it's 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, a hundred days, um, I'm going to document it. I'm definitely going to, uh, post it daily, like a daily vlog so that you can follow along and be encouraged and you don't have to do it as long as I do it. Um, you don't even have to do it the exact same way. It can be, you know, a mode or a channel or a place you can come for encouragement and to know that somebody else is doing the same thing and, you know, seeing how they're getting through it. I know I'm definitely going to incorporate chanting. That is something that's been really placed on me to do um, while I do this because chanting changes your vibration, changes your energy. So... I'm definitely going to incorporate that into my practice. I'm definitely going to incorporate herbs, um, uh, herbal infusions into it. You know, even if it's a straight juicing, I'm definitely going to drink herbal infusions um, daily to assist with the detox process. I'm uh, going to go to the sauna and, you know, sweat and do some light walking. If I decide to work out like at the gym, I'm probably gonna do a juice and smoothie fast because you need a little bit more, um, because you're gonna be releasing a lot of stuff and working out breaks down a lot of things and you're building muscle. If you wanted to build muscle and things like that, you're gonna have to eat differently. You're really not gonna be able to juice, straight juicing and build muscle. That's just, it's not conducive. Um, this is more of a breaking down process for me, moving and getting rid of some things and then going to rebuilding. So like I said, today is going to be the day that I actually look into that and really see what needs to be done. How do I need to do it? I know that probably in the winter, would be a better time to break down things, maybe even in the fall or autumn. But um, don't ask me why I can't think of the the pagan days for these holidays right now. I, I don't know why I can't think of them. But, you know, that's what I'm basing this on, really. Um, literally, I think the fall and winter would be a better time. But... You can flip things however you want them to. Just like if you're doing a new moon uh, casting or something like that, you're working with the moon energy, you could say, take away, if you're doing for abundance and prosperity or something like that, you could literally say, take away and remove. If it was um, 
a full moon. You can say, take away and remove all obstacles to my abundance and my prosperity. You don't have to wait until the new moon and then have the moon grow and get bigger. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about working with the moon. Usually people who, who want to bring things to them, they start on the new moon and they go to the full moon because the moon is getting bigger. Okay. It's growing. It's expanding. And if they want to take things away, they start on the full moon and go to the new moon because then the moon is getting smaller. Okay. So, but even if it's not that specific um, moon phase, you can do, you can flip it and word it the way you need to. So if you're trying to do abundance and prosperity, you don't have to wait until a new moon. You can just say, okay, this is the full moon and it's going to go into the new moon. Um, and it's going to get smaller. It's going to um, wane. Waning is getting smaller. Waxing is growing bigger. So you could just flip it and say, remove all obstacles to my abundance. Okay. So, um, that's how I'm going to work this, even though the spring is for new beginnings and growth. I'm going to just word it so that it works for me. Um, so you don't have to be limited in doing your work or working on yourself and your growth and your expansion just because the season is not perfect um, for the most part. So, yeah, I'm going to document. I'll let you know probably tomorrow. Maybe later today, I'll do another video. Just to let you know when I decide, um, <clears throat> I'm going to actually start. And then we can do it together. And it can be um, like a support thing. You know, so I want my whole channel to be about support, growth, expansion, sovereign-mindedness, unapologeticness. <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. So, yeah. I'm going to definitely talk about the chanting aspect and the energetic chance aspect because I'm huge on energy. I'm huge on being sovereign in your energy and not allowing outside influences to get in there and deter you from what it is you, you want to do. So chanting can be a huge part of that because you're <clears throat> changing your energy. You're changing your vibration to where you want it and as opposed to allowing outside influences. So Waking up in the morning, chanting, setting that tone for your day instead of being um, affected by everyone else's tone, everyone else's wants and desires is definitely sovereign, okay? So if you are feeling the need for cleansing and renewal and, um, you know, purging, a lot of catharsis, things like that, Definitely join me on this. Um, like I said, I'll come back either tonight or tomorrow. Let you know what, what my spirit is telling me to do as far as what day to start. And we can kind of do this together. <clears throat> I'll do some Facebook live broadcasts. And if I do, I'll post them um, on my YouTube channel. So you can check it out. Um, and definitely do some blog posts. So I, now I definitely have a lot of good content um, ideas to put up in addition to talking more about sovereignty and um, growing you know I'm gonna definitely do that I made a juicer video review um, a blog post and a video review so it's on my channel it's called the ACOC AI COK um, juicer demo review or whatever and you can check that out and see a, a relatively inexpensive juicer so if i wait until like march 21st then you'll definitely have time to get it you know what i'm saying so you could participate because your homemade juice is going to taste better it's going to um be more nutritious less less oxidation less loss of vitamins and minerals and all that so and it like I said, the number one, it tastes better. Even that cold press stuff you get at the store, it's a, it's good. It's not bad at all, but it's better for you to do it your, yourself. Um, and it's cheaper over the long run. And this juicer is relatively inexpensive, and it's a quality juicer. I've had no problems with it so far, and I've been using it. So, um, also, I'm thinking about going to get some of these green coconuts. I live in South Florida, so I can get, you know, green coconuts that haven't been treated they come straight off the tree. Um, and, you know, before when I first got here, I was going to farmer's markets all the time. There would always be a guy who would, you know, open up a coconut fresh there, stick straw in it, and you drink it. Phenomenal. So, oh, and they also have sugar cane here. So I'm going to get some sugar cane and juice that. 
you know, I wish I, wow, if I could find a way to like ship y'all some <clears throat> coconuts, <laughs> that would be cool. So like, like seriously, if you did want some coconuts, maybe I could work that out. I figured some out and figure out how to get some in bulk and help you out with that to make sure that they, I'm sure they'd stay fresh because they're like just sitting outside here on, on the ground and even in the stores. They're, these are these are closed coconuts. They're literally green coconuts, and then you have to open it up to get to the 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 brown the part you see that brown one. Which you, if you go to the store and you'll see it. These are, I'll show you um, when I get one. Actually, I could probably go outside right now because there's a coconut tree across the street. But um, you have to go climb and get them because once they fall to the ground, they're usually bad. So. Yeah, I'm gonna incorporate fresh coconut juice or coconut water um, into it, sugar cane, and juice that, and all that good stuff. So this should be a really, really good cleanse because I'm using some really fresh ingredients, and wow, this is gonna be really good. So I'll let you know tonight or tomorrow what I decide to do as far as the start date, and yeah, join me. Even if you want to do it for just a couple of days, a week, a month, whatever. This can still be a good jump start, okay? So I love y'all. I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.